Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator Ravi Gupta. In today's topic, I'm going to explain you the type of gauge glass. And after that, we'll see the various types and I will explain how the plate type gauge glass is constructed and why it is constructed in such a way and where it is used. After that, I will explain where the reflex type gauge glass is used and how it is constructed. So please remain tuned till last. I guarantee that you will learn a lot. Before bring the video, I want to tell you that I have made a video regarding the blowdown procedure of the gauge glass. If you want to know, please click on the I button. So let's start the video of the type of gauge glass. So as you can see, the gauge glass can be defined or in three parts. One is the tubular type, second is the plate type and third is the reflex type. The reflex type gauge glass is a type of a plate type gauge glass but having some restriction. In construction so the press for up to pressure of 17.5 bar means medium up to up to the medium pressure boiler tubular type gauge glass is used tubular type gauge glass is very simple in construction as you can see this is the steam cog this is a water cog and both cog is been held by a tubular type gauge glass having a tube type structure which has been mounted here so the design is very simple and uh, hence it, this can be used up to a pressure of 17.5 bar but for a higher pressure range we have to modify the design and hence this plate type gauge glass and reflex type gauge glass was come to in picture the reflex type gauge glass have been used from medium to the high pressure range and plate type gauge glass can be used in all type of gauge in all type of boiler means medium high everything because the pressure range of the plate type gauge glass is around 70 bar and the reflex type gauge glass pressure range is around 21 bar. So let's see the first plate type gauge glass. So pressure range of the plate type gauge glass can be used up to a pressure of 79 bar. Okay. Now the second question comes to our mind. Okay. Plate type gauge glass can be used up to a pressure of 79 bar. So how? Means how it is constructed that it can be used in such a high pressure? So basically Plate type gauge glass are toughened soda lime glass plate which are capable of withstanding severe mechanical action of the boiler. So what is happening right now on your screen which you are seeing is a plate type gauge glass. So basically in construction this is the plate glass two in number one plate glass and second plate glass okay and this is the as you can see is a front plate and this is a back end plate so the whole thing means front plate then first plate glass then second plate glass then lever plate and then end plate all things are combined together with the help and held in together by the help of a stud okay so this is how the complexity of the gauge glass of the plate type now the front plate glass and the second plate glass these two glasses are made up of soda lime okay and therefore they are very toughened in structure and hence can withstand the severe mechanical stress which may fall upon while subjected to the high pressure for that reason it is been used in a high pressure boiler now the second thing is that high temperature protection is provided by a mica strip which is provided by interposing between the glass and steam joint so now the second thing is that as you can see in this diagram the glass plate is made up of soda lime but the problem to withstand the pressure high pressure is been taken care by the construction of the soda lime glass plate but the problem as the pressure rises the temperature also rises so to withstand the high temperature mica strip is interposed in between the glass plates so that to prevent and to give capability to withstand high temperature for that reason the mica strip is been used along with the glass plate to give high temperature bonding now the lever plate is provided which deflect up the light such that lower meniscus of the water is clearly visible. So as you can see the, this is a front plate, this is a first plate, this is the 
second plate and this is a lever plate why lever plate is provided because the lever plate help to clearly indicate the lower meniscus of the water indicating the correct water level from the distance position for that reason this lever plate is provided the main advantage of having lever plate is that it reflects the light in such a way that the lower meniscus of the water is indicated clearly from distance position indicating clear water level for that reason the lever plate is provided okay so this is how the whole thing of the plate type gauge glass is constructed now as you can see this is the steam part this is the water part with having a ball valve and whole thing is been held in place with the help of a stud and nut so i hope this is clear how the plate type gauge glass is constructed now let's move to the this is the how it look like as you can see this is a front plate this is the back end plate and the front tube and the second tube okay is held in together by the help of the stud this is how the complex plate type gauge glass is used for a high pressure boiler and in between the back plate and the front plate there are three plate front first glass plate glass then second glass and then lower plate after that it is been held in together by help of this stud now let's move to the reflex type gauge glass so as you can see by its name it's very common reflection type gauge glass is suitable for a pressure up to 21 bar okay so how to design reflex type gauge glass can be fitted new with its own gland and cock or can be installed into existing gauge cock fitting a steel tube which have a spanner flat enable the gauge to be fitted in place of a glass tube without having to dismantle the cock so what is happening this is how a reflex type gauge glass look okay this is the cover plate in this cover plate the first the cushion joint will go then the reflex gauge glass will go then second joint will go then the center piece on which this gauge glass will sit and after that this tightening plate along with the stud so this is how it look like okay as you can see very clearly that this is the front cover okay this is whole covering this is a whole cover okay this and after that it is held up by this stud this stud okay this is the back plate this is the center piece okay this is center piece this is the glass this is the two joint and this is the front cover okay now as you can see in this diagram here that the reflex type gauge glass work on a principle of reflection so what happened basically when whenever the water as you can see here in operation the light is reflected from the steam space and absorbed in the water space thus giving a bright and dark strip respectively whose contrast can be clearly seen at a distance so what is happening whenever the light is falling on the water I means suppose the gauge glass is filled up to this level up to this level the gauge glass is filled okay so now what is happening when the light is coming so the water part is absorbing the light okay please listen carefully the water part is absorbing the light and hence it appear black and the steam part doesn't absorb the light and it reflect and it appear white so it give a very contrast color of black and white and hence it's very easy to see the and measure the water level at from a very distant position that okay this is the water level in the, in the boiler water level gauge glass from distant position you can see and clearly get the view so as you can see here the light is coming and it is been reflected back totally when in the steam space but in the water space the light is coming and is completely absorbed and hence it is appearing as a black so i hope it is very clear as how the gauge glass look this is the top view of the gauge glass this is a reflex type gauge glass which is been held front and back is provided a joint is provided okay joint is provided and then it is been covered by a frame with the help of a stud holding it a piece so 
one minute this is how it will look okay this is how it will look and this is how the light when falling on the water space will completely absorb and will appear a black and the steam space will appear white okay now the pressure range of the reflex type gauge glass is up to a pressure of 21 bar why because with increase in pressure and temperature the solvent action of the water increases and hence there is a pressure limitation of 21 bar for reflex glass so what happened as in the plate type glass i have told you that mica strip is provided so that it can be able to withstand the high temperature as the temperature increases the solvent property means of the glass with the water increases to withstand that the mica strip is provided in a plate type gauge glass but as this mica strip bonding is not provided in reflex type gauge glass and hence this glass is limited to a pressure up to a range of 21 bar because with increase in pressure and temperature the solvent property of water to dissolve glass increases and hence this it imposes a limitation on the use of the reflex type gauge glass up to a pressure of 21 bar so i hope it is very clear that how this whole thing is working if you have any doubt please do comment below i will reply back and if you like the video please subscribe and please share with your colleague and friend because marine engineering hub aim is to bring all our marine friends into this platform so that we can learn and grow together have a good day friend image credit goes to gs fanagan and this volume 8 thank you friend